Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Forever King here. So Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition Season 2 just got announced. Awesome news. So the first tournament is going to be in Mexico City, February 22nd to the 23rd, 2025. Honestly, with all the stuff that's been happening with Mortal Kombat 1 lately, I wasn't for sure if we were going to get a Season 2. You know what I mean? The information we got yesterday about this might be the end of the DLC and Chaos Reigns might be the last DLC outside of a couple cameos that are coming out. So I'm actually surprised to hear that a uh, Season 2 is coming out. And that means if a Season 2 is coming out, then we're for sure not going to get another game until maybe like 2026 or 2027. Which, I mean, that was kind of expected anyways, honestly. Even if there was not a pro season, season two, I wouldn't think that we're going to get a new game until like 2026 or 2027. But this kind of solidifies it. Because obviously, if there's a pro competition for Mortal Kombat 1 still, then they got to give a lot of effort and attention towards promoting that. And honestly, if they have a pro competition season two, that kind of makes me think that there still might be more DLC and more support and more patches for Mortal Kombat 1. So that rumor yesterday, I don't know, that might be a myth. That might just be a rumor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I guess we'll see if Faye Unknown, you know, if that information turned out to be correct or not. So we don't have a lot of information yet on this tournament. All we know is it's in Mexico City. It's a pro competition. And it's February 22nd to the 23rd. That's it. That's all we know. So I kind of wish that we had a lot more information because we don't know how much the tournament costs to register. We don't know how much money is on the line. We don't know... Uh, we don't have the rule set. Like, is it going to be best two out of three? Is it going to be best three out of five? Uh, we don't know when we can register. So on the site, it said that we can register in January. But January is 30 days. That's a long month. So like, is it going to be the beginning of January, the end of January, the middle of January? Like, we still don't know a lot of information about this tournament <laughs> and the pro competition in general. And I do appreciate that they gave us about two and a half-ish months in advance. You know, we're in the end of November. The tournament is kind of like in the middle end of February. So that's way better than season one. I don't know if you guys remember in season one, they announced the very first pro competition tournament, East Coast Throwdown. It was only like a couple weeks notice or something like that, like a couple weeks or one month. I forget exactly. It was so long ago, but they barely gave us any time to prepare. And it's like, if you want to fly somewhere to get plane flights and hotels as cheap as possible, you want to book in advance as soon as possible and you know for people that work you know have full-time jobs it's like hard to call off and stuff like that you also want to get those days off as soon as possible some jobs don't like it when you're only calling off like one month in advance some jobs want you to call a vacation weekend off like many months in advance so like I said, better than season one, because <laughs> season one, they only gave us like a couple weeks notice. So this, they're at least giving us like two months notice, but it would be nice if it was like a little bit more. And it would be nice if there was more information in general, like the rule set, how much does it cost to register, how much money is on the line for this tournament. You know what I mean? Like, in Justice 2, when I, I remember in Justice 2, they announced the Pro Tour like with the game releasing. I think even before the game released, they already announced the Pro Tour for Injustice 2. Like, you know, Combo Breaker is going to be a $20,000 pot bonus. CEO, Evo, all these. Like, they announced like 10 tournaments over the span of eight months that were all going to be 20,000 pots each. And. So we knew it, and that was before the game even launched. I kind of wish that we got <laughs> something like that again, like that level of professionalism and that level of information, you know? Nowadays, it's like everything is so 
last minute and so rushed and doesn't really give us time to set up for this stuff. And this guy just rage quit on me right now. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm excited for Mortal Kombat Pro Tour. Even if I don't compete, I always want there to be a Mortal Kombat Pro Tour. I always, you know, I love Mortal Kombat. I love tournaments. So I'm always happy to hear that there's going to be a pro competition, regardless if the information is low or not. So but I would like to have more information. But I'm going to just let you guys finish watching this video. Uh, this Shang Tsung that I'm about to show you guys me fighting, this, uh, one of the best Shang Tsungs I fought. He had some really cool conversions. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and peace.